to tomorrow. We'll see. Once again, people in parts of the country are cleaning up after a direct hit from Hurricane Nate, making its uh, landfall on Sunday morning in the wee hours of the morning. Trust me on that. In Biloxi, Mississippi, and our eye guy right there when the center of circulation came ashore was meteorologist Mike Siddell. Mike, when is the last time, uh, I know you've been out in a, in a ton of these things, that you actually got in, into a center of circulation with a storm? Only one other time, Hurricane Floyd back in mid-September wow. 1999. But we got the eye okay. here and the eye wall, Jim. Take a look. The beach now has been leveled. We had dune, a big, a nice dune line. We had fencing. We'll take you back to about midnight Saturday night. We were in the eye wall before the winds went calm for about an hour and a half. And look at the surge coming in. Uh, top surge on the Mississippi Gulf Coast reported Pascagoula with 6.3 feet. And most of the cleanup on US 90 was done yesterday. We saw a few trees down. All the power is back on, so everything's back to normal. By the way, schools are closed today here because of Columbus Day, so the kids are out uh, for Columbus Day. We're back out on the beach, and this is where most of the cleanup remains. With the tide coming in, we've got all kinds of debris, a lot of wood. You know, we've got aluminum cans. We've got a big bucket over there. So once they get this cleaned up, the beach will be back. Well, it'll be clean again, but again, we've lost sand and all this uh, dune line and fencing is gone from Nate. Peak winds here were 71 miles an hour in gust, and the sustained wind, Jim, was uh, in the mid-50s. So, as you mentioned earlier, we'll see if the National Hurricane Center takes a look at the in the final analysis if this ends up being an 85-mile-an-hour Cat 1 hurricane. Uh, Jim? Which would surprise me, but I'm not the one doing the analysis. All right, let's talk about what we got going on. Michael, uh, we appreciate that.